<laughs> hey everybody, it's your boy String Bean out here at the Off Grid Cabin. This morning I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast casserole, or as we call it, a breakfast pie. Using just a few ingredients now. Everything that I have here, I have at all my trap sheds. Simple, easy, something that'll stick with you, and give you the energy to go all day long. Let's get this fire built and get breakfast on the table. First things first, when you fool with fire, Yeah, yeah, I watched a guy one time, had a big beard, build a fire, foof, there it go. There we go. Mm, hot coals, you don't want to. You don't want flame. You just want hot coal. Stay with me. Let's get this thing going. It's going good now. Now, several reasons why I like making a breakfast casserole, or as we call it, breakfast pie. This is versatility. You can add any kind of meat, whether it be bobcat, squirrel, rabbit. Uh, and it's simple to make. It's quick. It's hearty. It stays with you. But I'm going to let this fire die down because we don't want flame. We want coals for that cast iron. Stay with me, children. We're still grinding. Now, a lot of people, they'll take their bacon grease and save it. That is the best stuff in the world to flavor food. When you're frying eggs for presentation, it makes your eggs look bad. Doesn't matter to me. You're in the mountains, you're trailing the trap line, you're hungry. But just for the sole purpose, I'm going to go ahead and fix my eggs first. I'll plate them, put them out of the way, set them aside. We'll get on the sausage and the bacon. Let's get started. You don't do. I'll crack three eggs starting out. I'll go ahead and mix them. I've got my pan over getting hot. We're in bear country. Keep that in mind. You don't want Mr. Bear to come up and smell them eggs. And you have a visitor. Mm -hmm. We'll go ahead and do three. And see what we've got. Now by myself, I've got a smaller cauldron. That's my larger one. That's the one that I'll use up here. Uh, my other one stays at the off grid. All we're doing is mixing our eggs. Go ahead and do four. Because there'll be eight. Let me get these mixed up and get them in the pan. Stay with me just a minute. You don't want to use metal. Now we're doing scrambling. Get these eggs scrambled up. Plenty of heat right there. Oh, by that, I reckon. You don't want a lot of heat, you'll burn everything you got with cast iron now. Oh yeah. Stay with me. Now as I said before, the possibilities with this is endless. Onions, peppers. They're looking good. They're looking good. Don't want to waste anything if you can keep from it now. Keeping in mind we're off grid. And, uh, 
depending on what I catch during the season, sometimes it turns what I eat. Mmm. Scramble your eggs. Now I cook just enough for me. Just enough. My Dutch oven's a little bit larger. But I can do fill ins with sausage and bacon. That's what we're about to do as soon as that pan heats up. But cover this in aluminum foil or another plate. Set it next to the fire, next to the smoke. Days like today, keep the bugs and bees away. Now, what I do before season begins, uh, as the weather changes, uh, I'm able to keep milk and eggs. Supplies, common sense stuff, and uh, I'll go by making sure everything is upcycled. Dates, uh, containers, make sure no buyers got in, destroyed my food supply. I'll resupply, restock, and be ready for the long haul. Let's get us some sausage and bacon fried up. Mm. Stay with me. Got our fresh sausage in the pan. Mm. Now you gotta watch out for bears. They smell that and that bacon. They'll come out of the woodwork. But uh, I'm gonna stoke this far up a little bit, get this sausage fried, and get the bacon on. Now, as your sausage begins to fry through, you want to crumble it up. You want it scrambled, kind of like your eggs, small chunks. Bacon's a little different, but I'm getting ready to break this apart, crumble it up. If I was at camp, this meal would probably take me all of about 30 minutes, maybe, the most. Um, but doing it step by step on video, it's a little bit slower process. But we're about to get the bacon on just a little bit. Stay around. Stay with me. I made that old spoon back to my wood shop a long time ago. Don't never use metal in your cast iron. Use a stick, use a board, use a, a wooden whisk, whatever you got. But don't never use metal and you can take care of that cast on it cast on take care of you now i've got all my sausage crumbled up we'll get that with our eggs and get our bacon started stick around with me just a minute oh yeah oh yeah that looks good 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 eggs Sausage and bacon, onions, peppers, whatever you want to put in it. Entirely left up to you and your taste. What you've got in your supply bag, in your trap cabin, off grid. Put the aluminum foil back over this, put it back next to the fire. Keep the bees and bugs away. Mm. Let's get the bacon on. Now, as your bacon fries to your preference, some people like it a little chewy, some people like it super hard crisp. I like mine with just a little bit of crisp, a little bit of snap. But once you get it cooked to your preference, get rid of all, all that excess grease. Move on to the next step, the bread. That's how we do it out at the trap shed. Mm. That and a cup of coffee. Stay with me, children. Oh, it's kind of nice and crispy. Remember in bear country, we don't want to uh, cause anything to come in on us, because they will. That's why I like my bacon right there. I could probably use tongs, 
but uh, however's however. Just get that, get rid of that. Next thing. Oh, look here. God. Eggs, sausage, and bacon. Cover it up. If you've got a cheesecloth, if you carry uh, paper towels, whatever you've got, just cover it up and keep it next to the fire. That'll keep the bees and flies away from this food. Get ready to put the bread into the Dutch oven, and we're just about there. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and coffee. Gotta have coffee. Make up your dough. Put a layer of dough in the bottom of your Dutch oven. Sausage, egg, and bacon. Peppers, onions, cheese, whatever your heart's desire can go into this breakfast casserole, or as we call it, breakfast pie. We up here with the cattle. <laughs> now the reason for the aluminum foil is because that Dutch oven doesn't have the ring on top to hold the coals. I gotta put coals on top of that to bake the top of that bread. That's all we're doing is baking bread. The eggs are done, sauce is done, the bacon is done. All we've got to do is brown that bread on the bottom, brown it on top. Don't want to burn it, want to keep an eye on it. It's okay to take it off because that cast iron holds heat. Check it. About 15 minutes and then uh, put coals on top of it. But that aluminum foil there is to keep my food from getting wood ash on it. Yeah. Let's get some coffee on. Stay with me. Possibilities are endless with this meal. Uh, it's only limited by my resources and my imagination. And the weather determines what I can do and cannot do in an off-grid setting. Uh, got squirrel, rabbit, grouse, bobcat, fish, uh, whatever I can do. If I could knead bread, work bread up, uh, but uh, this is my biggest Dutch oven. I got two smaller ones. I make smaller portions uh, by myself. What I don't eat, I can cover up with aluminum foil and leave it in the Dutch oven. And when I return back to the cabin, uh, I can warm it up. However, in a skillet, in the camp oven, and I can eat on it that evening. I'm gonna get coffee on. I still ain't made coffee. Sitting on a old tea drum. Tea drum. That's called walk on and leave you coffee. You don't keep it in cup me to walk on and leave you. Walk off and leave you. Walk off and leave you. That's all you gotta do right there, man. That's all you gotta do right there, man. Now the moment of truth. Coffee's not done, but still, let's see what we got. 
Oh, buddy. Cold and brown. Breakfast pie, as we call it. A lot of folks call it breakfast casserole. But that looks epic. Sausage egg. Bacon. All wrapped up in that wonderful, wonderful crusty bread. I'm gonna get my coffee done. Yeah. Stay with me, let's get us about this, see what it tastes like. <laughs> Breakfast pie. Oh, it looks good. Nice and done, brown, golden brown on top. That's it. Oh, oh, oh son. Oh, right out here in the middle of nowhere, male fit for a king. <sighs> now for the real test. Mmm. Mmm. Flaky. That sausage is absolutely off the charts. Appreciate you sticking around with me, staying with me. I'm going to feed my face. Um, next up, going to be Hateful Eight Stew. Hateful Eight Stew. I'm going to do some canning. I'm going to show you how we do it here in Appalachia. Old school. Washed up. Got some corn to put up. I can for the cabin. For the trap shed. No work to do. God, but it's got to cool down a little bit. It's your boy String Bean. Right here with Mount Bush Crackers Alliance. Rolling beard on me, beardy. I'm eat my breakfast pie. Get you all out, out there somewhere. Thanks for watching. Try his coffee out. Yeah. It's hot. What do I do? What do I do? Thanks for watching.